The parts you need a rim, a hub, make sure that the hub you're using has the same number of holes as the rim does, properly sized spokes and nipples to match. Make sure that you also have a spoke wrench that is the right size for the nipples you're using. First set of spokes. Drop a spoke down into every other hole in the top hub flange so that the spoke heads are facing up. Remember, if it's a rear wheel or front disc brake wheel, this should be the shorter spokes. Bring a spoke from the hub into the first rim hole counterclockwise from the valve hole. Thread the nipple onto the spoke clockwise three turns to secure it, yet not tighten the spoke. Put the next spoke on the hub into the hole in the rim, four holes away from the first spoke, and thread the nipple onto the spoke three turns. Continue around the wheel in the same manner. Flip the wheel over. Second set of spokes. Notice that the holes in one flange do not line up with the holes in the other flange. Each hole lines up in between two holes on the opposite flange. Drop a spoke down through the hole in the top flange that is immediately clockwise from the first spoke you installed. If this is a rear wheel or front disc brake wheel, you are now using the longer spokes. Put this new spoke into the second hole clockwise from the wall hole next to the first spoke you installed. Double check to make sure that the spoke you just installed starts at a hole in the hub stop flange, which is one half a hole space clockwise from the hole in the lower flange where the first spoke you installed started. These two spokes should be diverging but still nearly parallel. Third set of spokes. Drop spokes through the remaining holes on the right side of the hub from the inside of the hub out. Remember, if it's a rear wheel or front disc brake wheel, this should be the shorter spokes. While grabbing the spokes you just dropped through the hub, flip the wheel over. Grab the hub shell and rotate it counterclockwise as far as you can. Pick any spoke on the top hub flange that is already laced to the rim. Now find the spoke 5 hub holes away in a clockwise direction. Take this new spoke, cross it under the spoke you counted from and stick it into the rim hole 2 holes counterclockwise from that spoke. Thread the nipple onto the spoke 3 turns. Expect to bend the spoke some. Continue around the wheel doing the same thing. Fourth and final set of spokes. Drop spokes down through the remaining hub holes in the bottom flange from the inside out. On a rear or front disc brake hub, these are again the longer spokes. Pick any spoke on the top hub flange that is already laced to the rim. Now find the spoke 5 hub holes away in a counterclockwise direction. Take that spoke, cross it over two spokes and under the spoke you counted from. 
Stick the spoke into the rim hole two holes clockwise from the spoke it crosses under. Thread the nipple onto the spoke three times. Continue around the wheel doing the same thing until the wheel is laced. Make sure that every spoke coming out from the upper side of the top flange crosses over two spokes and under a third. Tensioning the wheel. Tighten each nipple with a spoke wrench until only three threads are visible beyond the bottom of the nipple. Go around the wheel tightening each nipple a half turn. Do this uniformly so that the wheel is not thrown out of true. Squeeze pairs of spokes toward each other and compare their tension. Centering or dishing the wheel. The rim on a good wheel must be centered in the frame or fork. Pull the rim toward the center by tightening the spokes on the opposite side of the wheel from the axle end. Tighten a half turn each. If the spokes start getting really tight, then instead loosen the spokes on the opposite side of the wheel a half turn each. For the final tightening, turn each nipple one quarter of a turn. Every time you tighten or loosen a spoke nipple, turn it back the opposite direction by a 1 8 turn afterward. This process unwinds the twist in the spoke that your tightening or loosening has just caused. Truing the wheel You can make your own improvised truing stand. Set the truing stand feelers so that one of them scrapes the side of the rim at the worst lateral wobble. Tighten the spokes coming from the opposite side of the hub from the scrape and loosen the spokes coming from the same side of the hub. Make these tightening and loosening adjustments on two or three spokes on either side of the spot where the rim scrapes. Work around the wheel in this way, bringing the feelers in closer as the wheel gets truer. Congratulate yourself on building your wheel and show it off to your friends.